There's something insinuating about the way Alfred Hitchcock presents the title creatures in the opening scene of The Birds, set in a San Francisco bird shop. As socialite Melanie Daniels, played by Tippi Hedren, flirts with lawyer Mitch Brenner, played by Rod Taylor, they do so amidst a cacophony of cages. The store is so big that it encompasses two floors. At one point, Hitchcock positions the camera from high above so that Mitch and Melanie appear overwhelmed and outnumbered. An onslaught seems inevitable. Why do animals turn on us in such creature features? Perhaps an answer can be found in Genesis. In the wake of the fall, God chastises the sneaky serpent with this pronouncement in Genesis 3, 14 to 15. Because you have done this, cursed are you above all livestock and all wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head and you will strike his heel. It's the enmity that is pertinent here. Theologians have long contended that there is Christological resonance to this passage, that Jesus is the one whose heel will be struck on the cross, but who will ultimately prevail over pain and death. Yet I also wonder if this is a nod to one of the results of sin having entered the world, that humans and creatures will no longer live in harmony as intended in the Garden of Eden. At times, especially in creature features, this disharmony reveals itself in monstrous ways.